The rise in homeschooling seems to be here to stay. In 2019, the year preceding the COVID outbreak, there were 2.5 million students homeschooled. By the close of the 2022-2023 school year, that number has grown to 3.62 million, according to the U.S. Census Bureau's Household Pulse Survey. I was not a homeschool um, person. At, when I grew up, I went to all different kinds of schools, like Christian schools and public schools, but I never was homeschooled. Um, my husband decided, let's try this with my son when he was in kindergarten, and we tried the homeschool route and loved it. I feel like all the time that I had with my um, children homeschooling is just something priceless and I can't ever get it anything, any time back. Um, and I'm just thankful for every moment that I had with them. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, academic quality, flexibility in education, and family time are top concerns. And the results are in. According to the National Home Education Research Institute, homeschoolers typically score 15 to 25 percentile points above public school students on standardized academic achievement tests. The pros of homeschooling is the individualization that you can give students. So you can know where your student is at when they're reading, where they're at in spelling and math. There's you know, kind of like you can almost divide subjects into two areas. One area is almost really very specific to where kids are, but in a big class, all the kids kind of have to learn at the same place, or you can break them into little groups, but there might be places that are always a little bit ahead or behind. And, and that can, that's not a bad thing, but when you're doing homeschooling, you can kind of plan your, your lessons, or if you have lessons coming home from a teacher to know, I need to spend more time on this. And also the relationship, when I, you know, think about different school options, it's just hard to think that they'd get on a bus at 7.30 in the morning and then I wouldn't see them until 3.30 in the afternoon for five days. And um, so we get to enjoy a lot of life together at home. His reasoning for choosing homeschooling was just that before I had my son, I was a preschool teacher. And so he knew that I could do it and he just didn't feel real comfortable in the public school um, where we were at. And so he just decided, let's try this and see if it works out and then we'll take it year by year. Part of our concerns with the public school that we were living near was that we just looked up the ratings and it was just not where we were living, what we thought we would want our kids to do. And we just thought that one-on-one -on -one would be something that would be priceless and able to really work at their own pace and at their own level. Come to find out that worked. Um, both of my kids had um, really high GPAs and really learned to study well through the homeschooling. But where do homeschool families go when they are seeking enrichment, challenging coursework that may be outside a parent's scope of knowledge, or simply community with other like-minded families? Dayspring Arts and Education bridges the gap. Our academy at Dayspring is a really unique hybrid model. Students get to go to class in a classroom two to three days a week, but then on the other days, they get to partner with their parents to kind of continue their education. And so while we do provide all the curriculum needed for five day a week schooling, some of that is taught by the parent at home. And so it's a really nice blend. Since I am on staff here, my weeks are are a little bit different than most people. I am able to bring my daughter up to work with me and homeschool her next to me when I'm at the front desk. And then on Friday when she comes, she's here from nine o'clock till 3.45 and goes to different class. She goes to art classes, circus classes, and each year it's a little different for her schedule depending on what she chooses to take. She's able to go ahead and go online and look and see exactly what the teachers ask her to do and what they need to be done at home. And so she's able to work that out herself and I don't have to do very much for her. Um, and it really makes her independent so that when she does go to college, she's prepared for that time to do the independent work. Dayspring students, staff, and families are a tight-knit community. Homeschooling by yourself could feel isolating, um, but I think when you're part of um, day spring, you have other parents who are, you know, kind of in the same place you are, and so you can talk about any struggles or anything that's going well. Each one of the students here cares about the next student. 
you can see when um, you have a younger student and an older student, they can come together and just um, have a mentor-mentee relationship. And it's just so fun to see. Day Springs community is so welcoming. It is a great environment for everyone to join in and connect together, all kind of bonded with the arts and with education. I think that educating our children can sometimes be a complex decision for some families. I'm happy that there's a lot of variety out there and I think a hybrid school is sort of this perfect in-between type of school for those people who are wanting to spend more time with their kids and be a little more involved in their education.